The U.S. Virgin Islands had their caucus over the weekend, and we're hearing in every media report that Mitt Romney won the U.S. Virgin Island caucus. The problem with that is, Ron Paul actually won the popular vote. Here's a little math lesson for you mainstream media folks out there. Ron Paul won 29% of the vote in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Mitt Romney won 26%. Now, Admittedly, I'm not very good at math, but the last time I checked, 29% was higher than 26%. Now, this is important. If we're going to gauge who wins the primaries and caucuses by who wins the popular vote, as we have in every single other primary or caucus contest, then Ron Paul unquestionably won the U.S. Virgin Island caucus. But, if we're going to start to measure it according to delegate counts, as the mainstream media has done with Romney and the Virgin Islands, then when we go back and look at who actually has accumulated the most delegates in some of these states, Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, and beyond, and Ron Paul actually picks up more delegates, possibly, than what his straw poll finish would indicate, is the mainstream media going to adjust accordingly? Well, I don't think they are. The mainstream media is trying to have it both ways, and any responsible journalist, by using the parameters we've used throughout this election, would be reporting that Ron Paul won the U.S. Virgin Island caucus. But once again, when Ron Paul does win, they find all sorts of ways to ignore it or pretend like he's not. Well, this is just another example of that. Congratulations to Ron Paul on winning the U.S. Virgin Island caucus.